Well, hello. Uh, I'm at the Oran War Rehearsal Rooms with Martin McCarty, who is the author of next week's play, From Paisley to Paolo. Uh, Martin's already written a play for Oran War, The Apprentice, uh, with the same director, Stuart Davids, and it's lovely to have you back, Martin. Thanks very much. It's nice to be back. Tell us a wee bit about um, From Paisley to Paolo. Well, it's, it's, it's a comedy about three young guys that go to a music festival, and one of them was born on the same day as Paolo Nettini and wonders why his life has turned out the way it has and why Paolo's has turned out the way his has. Yeah. And it's a comedy about how he comes to find himself through the play and understand that he's been living a fantasy life and that being with his two best friends is probably more important than anything else. Uh -huh. It's, it's, it's a very much about male friendship. Yes, yeah, it is. And we went into a rehearsal room with three actors and that's why I took out that the, the, the friendship between them was very funny but also very warm. And I thought it would be an ideal play to put on at the Old and More. Tell us a little bit about it, because it, 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 it's not as simple as just a play for Old and More, is it? No, we're developing it as a, a sitcom series uh, and probably looking to do a full length version of the play as well. Uh -huh. um, so we're hoping it's got a further life to it. We think the three characters could be anywhere. We could set them a, as, set them a music festival now, but we could set it in a flat in Paisley and it would still be funny, or we could set it elsewhere. We, we just think the three characters are the, are the important thing. Right. What they get up to and do together. Yes, yeah. yeah. You, you obviously like Paolo Nettini's music and it has a role in the work. Yes, it has. I do like Paolo Nettini. And I first listened to him because he was a young Scottish singer-songwriter and I, I usually try and listen to any singer-songwriters that come from Scotland but his music really appealed to me. Uh -huh. And I've got teenagers in my house. Right. It's quite nice to like somebody that they also like. Um, Tell me, I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, I mean, so when I was coming up with the idea, I was at various times I was showing them the script, uh -huh. and various times asking them what they thought, right. and, and what songs were their favourite songs, right. what did the songs mean to them. Right. I've incorporated that into the play. Right. Good. So you're good to have young critics. Yes, and I mean, that's one of the points of it is to try and appeal to a wide audience, but particularly a young audience. Yeah. Because some of the theatre you go and see really is above, above them in a sense, it's for an older audience. Mm -hmm. So I think trying to have a broad appeal, uh -huh. but, but aim it at young people, because all yeah. the characters are 24 and the same yeah. age as Paolo. Yeah. So hopefully that's what it does. Good. Tell me, Martin, I mean, you, you've, you've got such an interesting and varied writing career recently. <laughs> you, you've been doing so many different things. That's right. I think it's part of living in Scotland, to be honest with you. I think that you have to, if you're making your living as a writer, you have to be able to do different things. I recently was just doing a, a, a series called Big City Park, uh -huh. which was a children's series in Belfast. Right. And it's uh, got puppets in it, kind of like Muppet puppets, right. and it's got live action as well. Right. Uh, so it's just won an Irish BAFTA, in fact. Oh, and, uh, thanks very much. Yeah, I didn't win it, the, pro <laughs> the programme. Well, you, you're right uh, Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, there's going from that to a serious play that I'm writing for, the National Theatre of Scotland, which is the most overdue play in the history of the world, I think. But, but I'm close to finishing it now. Oh, good. And uh, so I, I just want to get that finished. And I'm working on a TV series uh, at the moment. I was working in River City for quite a long time, uh -huh. which was three and a half years I think, so that was quite an experience. How many episodes did you write in that time? It's about 40, 40 wow. episodes. Wow. They all blend into one huge gigantic River City episode. Yeah. Of course, I, I mentioned River City in the play. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you mentioned Nora Moore in River City. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did actually. Good. I did mention Lunchtime Theatre of the Order Moore for the characters, I did do that. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about the play for the National Theatre of Scotland, because it's very different. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, quite a dark play and it's about two loyalists, uh, an old, older loyalist who is an ex-terrorist who is now living in Ayrshire mm -hmm. and a younger man who he has sort of adopted. And it's about their relationship to a woman that comes into their life and then an older couple who live up the stairs and their relationship and it's basically about how the two women have been captives of men mm -hmm. in different ways, mm -hmm. one more extreme than the other in mm -hmm. their lives. And um, and it's about that, how those relationships develop. The young man gets um, happiness through this woman, he falls in love with her, and that takes him away from this blind hatred that he's been brought up with. Right. Tell me something, you've already got a successful career as a television writer. Um, television writing is far better paid than writing for the theatre. 
but you feel com compelled from time to time to come back and work in the theatre. I prefer working in the theatre. That's the truth of it. I mean, I do like television writing, but I prefer working in the theatre simply because you get so involved in it. I, when I'm in uh, rehearsals with Stuart, I'm there every day. Mm -hmm. I, I feel part of it, almost as if I'm acting in it. And mm -hmm. um, it's it, it's so it takes you takes you over. The plays that we all know, the last time it did the same. Is it's three weeks where at the end of it you feel like you've been in a very enjoyable car crash. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I love it. I do love still writing for the theatre. Yeah. Well, I would urge you to come next week and see From Paisley to Powder. Uh, it's touching, it's funny. There are three very good performances from three very good young actors and it's a great script. Thank you very much for watching. Well, thank you. Thank you. Come and see it.